All right, guys. This morning, I'm going to show you a little bit about a drawing. We're going to take the, we're going to go step by step. We're going to show you. I'm going to show you how to draw uh, faces. These faces right here, and we're going to take it step by step. It looks a little complicated, but don't worry. I'll show you how to get it done. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch over to Photoshop. And so I'm going to use Photoshop and paper and pencil, or you can use Photoshop. That's fine too. If you use Photoshop, though, be sure and save your work. Okay, so save out as a JPEG, and you can email it to me. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look at our image. Actually, I can get it from the website. So this is available at drawalot.com. So we'll just go there real quick. And if you go to, let's see, class resources, animation. And then there's an article called shot list. And if you go there, or sorry, not shot list. There's an article called uh, framed ink, visual storytelling through storyboarding. And this is actually taken from a book called Framed Ink. Okay, so this is our image. So we're gonna I'm gonna right click on this, copy image, go to Photoshop, and I'm gonna go to Edit Paste. Okay, then Command T. I'm gonna resize that a little bit. And we'll call this layer reference. Okay. So I got my reference art, and we'll just start with the very first one. So anytime you're going to draw, this is the same guy face over and over again. I'm sure you noticed, right? So this is a guy's face, same guy, same guy, but just different lighting. Okay. So first we're going to draw the structure of the face. Okay. So if I look at this, I can see, see what I'll do. I'll, I'll draw on the image at first, so you can see what I'm going to draw. Okay. So first I'm going to draw this square right here. Okay. And then I'm going to draw the cylinder coming out of it. And I'm going to draw some lines for the hair. Then I'll draw the eyebrow line and the eye line and the nose line and the mouth line. Okay? So let's go ahead and start drawing. Okay. So first line. So I need to draw the face. Okay? Here's the jaw. Here's the side of the face. And here's his hair, the beginning of his hair. So you can see it starts to make this kind of long diamond shape, right? Okay. And then about halfway between his hairline, it's the very top of his hairline and his jaw, somewhere in this halfway point should be the eye line. See that? So if I go down to the halfway point, it's a little below his eye line. So his eyes are just a little above the halfway point. All right, so this is the one half between here and here. All right. So this is his eyes, or his eyes will sit on this line, and then his eyebrow. As you can see, it's a little slanted there. Each one is a little slanted. Okay, and then we have this this line for the side of the nose. So we have the bottom of the nose, and you have the mouth. Is it starting to make sense? Okay, and then hair comes back a little bit towards here too. Okay, so anytime for every single one of these faces, we're going to draw these exact same structure. Okay, the structure is the basic shapes of the head. And if I were to flesh it out a little bit more, what I'll do is I'll make my brush a little smaller. We're just going to draw the structure. Okay, so this is the 3D shapes inside any given head. Okay, the nose is the strongest 3D shape. And the second strongest is the eye, the, this basically this eye structure, the structure of your forehead and your brow line. Okay? For instance, if we look at the side of a head, the profile, the lines that you'll notice are the nose, the lips, the chin. All right, so this is like a typical guy's head, or at least a typical white guy. Okay? Then you have his brow line, the eyes. Right? So this right here, this is what we call the brow line. Okay, and as you can see, it's a very strong indention. But the biggest one, of course, is the nose. Right? So here's the nose when you're looking straight at it. And here's that brow line. And then somewhere inside of this square, right, inside of this, underneath this brow is this sphere that's hiding underneath there. All right? So here is his eyes. And 
in this particular version, you don't see a whole lot. You just see the eyeball underneath that flap of eyelid. And then on this other one, it's a little bit slanted. So just draw, so you draw the basic structure, and then you draw what you see. Right now, what I see is this thick line right here. Let me crank up my brush a little bit. So I see this, and I also see this, diag this strong diagonal eyebrow. Right? And then I see some structure here, and I see the nose, some lines for the nose. I see the mouth, and the underneath the lip a little bit. And then this kind of weird expression on the side of the mouth. It's got a little bit of shadow underneath his cheekbone there. And he's got his ear, and of course the hair. Okay, so that's it for that first one. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. And again, this is not, uh, it's not important that you get a lot of detail, just the basic structure and the lighting. Okay. Oh, and like, I'm sorry, real quick, we'll just do the, uh, the, the neck. Okay. So we're going to put this neck on a top, on a cylinder. Okay, so just draw fast. Don't worry about drawing perfectly. All right, so that's one. We can move that over. We're actually going to make it a little smaller. Okay, so you guys can use more paper if you need. And let me go ahead and erase this because we don't need this. Okay, so next one. Again, same thing. I'm going to draw this image this time. But the first thing I need to do is I need to draw that structure. Okay, so I'll show you. Real quick, I'll go ahead and show you on here. So, for instance, even though I don't see it in the image, I know it's there. All right? So, I'm just always going to draw it. So, what I'm about to draw is I'm going to draw again that same square or long diamond, we can say. And then, of course, you have his somewhere in the halfway point, right? So, the halfway point is about right here. So, his eyes are just a little bit above that. And then the brow is a little bit above that. And then here he has um, structure 3D wise. If you were to draw it as a 3D shape, you would put a little square in the front of his eyebrow. You can think of it like a um, like a transformer. You ever tried to draw trans transformers before? When you draw transformers, you have to draw the cheekbones, all right? And then there's the jaw. And then there's the mouth. Okay. Then of course you have this very strong 3D element, which is the nose. You guys see that? Okay, so now we're going to draw that over here. Okay, so I can turn this off. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw the same face again. You can pause the video to do your drawing, so you can continue watching me after, you, after you're finished if you like. Okay. Okay, here's the center of his face. Here is the halfway point. So his eyes should be right here. His brows, her brow line should be right here. And here is the forehead, the front of the forehead. Right. Here is his nose. And then lips, which we're not going to see, so it's not real important. But they're in there. And then we're going to have a cheekbone, kind of like transformers, and the jaw. So this starts to make it look very 3D, right? Here's the bottom, here's underneath the cheekbone. Okay, so we've got our structure. Okay, now what we're going to do is basically the way lighting works is you would have, let's say, for instance, uh, here's your light, if your light source, if, which in this image is coming from directly from above, so our light source is here, all right? Well, then your shadows are going to be underneath. Okay? So he has this very strong top light. So he would have, all this would be white. And then underneath would be very strong black. So you can draw with a black marker if you have one, or a sharpie, or you can just use pen. You 
kind of just fill it in. If you use a pen, it's really thin, right? Kind of like this. So if you use a pen, the way I would do your shading is I would do it like this. Just do cross hatching. Right? And you can just keep going. It's kind of fun. Okay? So just fill it in with diagonal lines or vertical lines, whatever you want. Okay? And just keep going. Just cut, you can keep building it up. It's, it takes a lot longer, but it comes out kind of nice in the end. Now, again, remember, details are not important. We're just blocking out the basic, basic shapes. Okay? So I'm going to go back to a big brush because it's much faster. Okay, so I have this right here, and then his nose is flaring out a little bit. And then we have some white on here. And then, okay, and then let's take a look. He has a little bit of highlight on his cheekbone, so we'll, we'll just destroy everything else with black. Okay, on his other eye, uh, this one actually goes all the way. And then his forehead, as you can see, we're just going to try to match that shape right there. And then he has his hair, which is right here. Okay, so I know you guys probably don't draw as well as I do. That's fine. It's not a big deal. Just do your best, and uh, I will give you guys a grade based on effort, not based on skill. Okay? But this is definitely new for you, so I know it's not going to be that easy. So don't worry. I'm not going to grade you harshly. Okay, so does this start to look like that a little bit? All right, close enough? Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so... On the next one, kind of similar, but this time we have a, a light obviously coming from the right side. Okay. So what I'm going to draw, just so you have an idea, is my light coming from here and a little bit behind his head probably, which makes all my shadows on this side, right? Okay. So again, we're going to draw the structure of the head. Sorry, let me just reset real quick. Okay, so let me turn around my brush a little bit. Again, we're going to draw that same shape or structure. Okay, so that diamond. Oops, let me use black. My head's a little bit tilted. Let me just correct it a little bit. Okay, you, as you can see I'm drawing fast. I'm not drawing well, I'm just drawing fast to try to get knock it out real quick. Okay. And let's see, we have the halfway point. Eyes are a little lower, depending on the angle you're looking at it, but right now, definitely eyes are a little actually it should be a little higher. Getting ahead of myself. Okay, let me do this. Because if this is the halfway point, then the eye should be a little bit higher. Alright, so here's his eyes. Here's his, here's his brow line. Here's his nose. Okay, the brow line's a little high there. You'd be surprised when you actually look at a human being and measure it. Their foreheads are pretty big. Okay. When we draw cartoony, they don't as big, but when we draw realistically, their foreheads are quite big. Okay, here's his uh, lips. Here's his jaw. And let's, let's go ahead and do like the transformers like we mentioned earlier. These are his cheekbones, okay? And then, of course, his jaw. And we'll do the front of the forehead. So he has like a square in the front of his forehead which goes back towards the rest of his head. So it looks start to look a little 3D, right? That's what we want. Sorry, that's a little short. Okay. I'm going to lighten some of the